All right, guys, Mr. Shore Hitter here. Some of you guys wanted to see how I did in the May 4th qualifier for the District Med-Am. So I decided I'll put a little video together. I used some diagrams of the course and also some footage from my practice rounds and try to give you an idea of where my shots were and how I performed in that qualifier. I'll do my best to give you a clear picture and where I went right and where I went wrong. I started on the 10th hole. This par 4 is in the neighborhood of 418 yards. And in my practice round, I hit the ball a little right, right side of the fairway. So in the tournament, I hit the ball pretty much in the same area. I was maybe about 5 yards right of this spot. And I had about the same distance. I had about 190 yards left. So in the practice round, I hit four hybrid from 190. Well, in the tournament, I ended up pretty much in a very similar spot. I was about maybe about four to five yards right of that. Uh, the pin was in the middle of the green. So I did have kind of a tougher pitch shot because there is a, a kind of a mound there. Hit a good pitch shot, probably about eight feet past the hole, made the putt for par. Okay, so this second par four is a dog dug left, 412 yards. Pretty challenging hole. If you go left, you can get blocked out by some trees. So I did err a little bit to the right. Practice round, I hit a drive a little right and pretty much I was in the similar, a very similar area in, in the tournament. I had about 190. I did hit a four hybrid there. Or in the practice round, my ball hit hard and it bounced over the green. So in the tournament, I actually ended up kind of just off this left side, left edge of the green. So the pin was in a similar location and I hit a really good lag putt. This putt had probably six to eight feet of break right to left on it. I lagged it up there about two feet, tapped it in for par. Now the third hole was playing about 152 to the pin just like it was during the practice round. In the practice round I hit eight iron and the tournament it was a little bit into the wind so I decided to hit a seven iron and if you remember this practice round shot I hit a little bit draw on the left side of the green and during the turn I actually kind of hit the opposite shot I just hit a shot a little bit to the right and I ended up pin high so you can see kind of how this how this green has a lot of slope in it I was actually a little bit maybe 20 feet to the right of the hole here and I was able to lag it down there maybe a foot from the hole and tap it in for par there so my fourth hole, it's one of the easier par fours out here, one of the shorter par fours, 369 yards. I actually hit probably about my best drive of the day on this hole. I hit it, I think in the practice round here, I had about 130 yards and I had a similar, similar distance in, except I was on the left side of the fairway. So I was kind of deciding between a, a nine iron and a, and a pitching wedge. I believe I had 125 yards and I hit the nine iron. So the pin was a little bit further back, closer to the center of the green. And I was maybe 25 feet right of that pin. And I had a really fast right to left putt. I just simply hit it too hard. I hit it probably five feet past the hole and lipped out the putt coming back. So that did make my, my first bogey of the day there with a three putt. Okay, so this next par 5, I think we played this hole from about 520. I hit my drive a little bit right of the fairway there, pretty close to where I hit it in the practice round. In the tournament, I hit a 4 hybrid. I was quite a ways further down. I had maybe 90 yards or so to the pin, and I hit a 48 degree wedge, and I had a putt pretty close to this, maybe about 5 feet closer. I had about a 15 footer for birdie hit a really good putt did not get it to drop so we made another par there and this par three plays really long it was playing 202 yards it just wasn't playing long enough for me to hit the three wood if it was into the wind i probably would hit three wood ended up hitting the high wood because i didn't want to go long of that green hit it out to the right a little bit so actually in the practice round i was i was long left in the actual tournament, I was short right of this. I chipped it up there maybe five feet or so left of the hole. Just missed that putt too, so I made another bogey there. Matter of fact, the putt I had was pretty similar to that putt. So here's the par four to where we want to not block ourselves out on the right side. 
in the practice round here I hit a driver had the tree to worry about and I didn't want to do that again I played it closer to the left to try to stay away from that and I just hit one of my worst drives there's two trees down here I was between the two trees and I had to hit a shot under the branches of the the second tree I was 240 yards out I hit a three wood and I hit it really good maybe about five feet off the front of the green there so the pin was near the center of the green here and I was chipping not really too far from where this putt is maybe about five feet to the right and I rolled that one up that chip shot up about maybe five or six feet from the hole and I missed that putt also okay so 17 here in the practice round I hit a drive out to the right well this hole dog legs left and there's some trees on the left side that can kind of get in your way I hit a really good drive and unfortunately I hit it down the left side and I had this tree the big tree on the corner that was in the way so here's where I probably made my first bad decision so this green is really challenging green I had about 145 yards the smart play would have been for me to take an eight iron hit the shot five yards right of the green 10 yards right of the green maybe try to draw it and get it on the green but you definitely didn't want to mess with the tree instead I tried to thread the needle aim it just right of the tree with a little draw I pulled it a little bit hits the tree comes down I'm 30 yards short of the green with the hardest pitch shot you'd ever imagine so instead of me trying to to basically hit a perfect pitch shot I was kind of a little left of this area and short so as you can see this green it runs completely away from you so if I would have hit a pitch shot onto this green it would have hit it would rolled all the way off the back of the green so instead played it away from the hole over onto this slope for this to to basically as a backstop and I had about a 25 foot putt for par with about six to eight feet of break on it lagged it up there maybe a foot from the hole and, and tapped it in for bogey 18 is a hole where if you go left you can block yourself out you remember in the practice round I hooked the ball to the left and I had to hit this big looping hook around this tree so I had to play it out to the right ended up too far to the right in some heavy rough I hit a five hybrid out of that rough and ended up hitting it maybe five yards right of the green with a really horrible lie green running away from me so I was kind of in the area to the left of my bag there pin was kind of where my ball is I hit a flop shot lands on the green rolls hits the pin I thought it was gonna go in and it stopped maybe a foot from the hole so I tapped that in for a par so I made the turn at plus four which is a 39 on that side okay so I'm not particularly happy about that turn but keep playing do what we can do our tenth hole which is number one 363 yard par we hit a good drive down the middle of the fairway and just like here I was maybe a little left of that I think I had about 145 yards in and I hit an 8 iron kind of on the left fringe pin was kind of similar to this location we ended up two putting from the fringe there for a par so we get to our 11th hole 273 yard par 4 I hit a pretty good drive there just a little short of the bunkers pitched it over the bunker to about four feet and I pushed the putt and ended up making a par so then we get to a short par five 488 I had a decent drive on the right portion of the fairway here laid it up had about 110 yards or so. probably the second mental mistake I made there's a real big fall off on the front portion of the green so front of that green short left anywhere in there is a really tough shot for some reason instead of me playing the ball towards the middle of the green I actually played towards the right portion of the green trying to stay away from the left side and I made just a really bad swing pushed it a little bit and I ended up on the right fringe pin high but it was a really tough lag from that fringe and I didn't get it close and ended up making bogey so that was a shot where I really played way too conservatively this 335 yarder in the practice round I hit a driver down the right side I ended up getting kind of lucky to where I was just left of that bunker in the tournament maybe 15 yards right of this in the middle of that tree line I had to punch a low shot under the trees bounced it just over the edge of the green and I had a little pitch shot back pitched it back to five feet and made the putt for par so then we come to this par three that was playing about 
144 yards. I hit an 8-iron. Pin was actually kind of close to this position it was in here. So in a practice round, I ended up hitting the 8-iron, I think, too, and I hit it a little short. But in the tournament, putt was probably about 15 to 20 feet left of that hole. And I lagged it up to a couple feet and made the putt for par. So this next hole, 564 yard par five, I hit a pretty good drive down there, kind of similar to, to this shot on the diagram, maybe 230 or so. I was kind of in between clubs. I wasn't sure if I wanted to hit a four hybrid or a five hybrid, and I think the indecision got to me a little bit. I ended up hitting five hybrid and hit it poorly, left myself maybe 170 yards to that elevated green, and I hit five hybrid just off the left side of the green and I hit hybrid pitch shot with the five hybrid foot or two from the hole and tap that in for par. This par three here was playing 171 yards. I ended up playing this five hybrid a little bit further right than I normally would have. There's really nowhere to miss it. The only place you can miss this green is short. So I hit it right of the green and from where I was, there was no shot. From right of the green over here, I hit a ball that landed as soft as I can hit it onto the green. It bounced hard and trickled off the other side of the green. I pitched back from there about four or five feet from the hole and I missed the putt made double bogey so then we get to 17 this is a hole where you don't want to go to the right i aired a little bit to the left side hit a little bit of a cut shot and hit it right in the middle of the fairway pretty similar to this spot here 154 yards or so from the pin and i hit a seven iron and miss hit it hit it just short of the green chipped it up to about eight feet or so and missed that putt made another bogey so 18 500 yard par five i hit without a doubt my best drive of the day right down the middle of the fairway i actually had 232 yards left to this green so this hole has water on the right a bunker on the left side and water definitely if you go towards the right side of the green so 232 i think with the firm conditions i could have gotten there with the three wood i decided to just hit a nine iron kind of in this area here left at 100 yards or so from the hole 106 yards actually pin was closer to where i'm standing there i hit a 48 degree wedge that hit caught this slope and backed up i had a four footer that was on the side of the slope had maybe a foot of break on it ended up making it to birdie the last hole i hope you enjoyed the video although i didn't reach my golf goal for the qualifier i had a good time i'll keep plugging away for the next golf goal to check out a video on how to break 80 like i did click the video to my right if you like the video like comment subscribe till next time mr short hitter out five holes to go just play 13 need to palm away in gotta hit more greens my game's obscene now hooks